Data Platform Studio is a new hosted application from Redgate. We've designed it from the ground up to tackle data management problems, regardless of whether your data is on-prem or in the cloud. The first module in Data Platform Studio automates importing data from an on-prem SQL Server to Azure SQL Data Warehouse. It makes the import simple, efficient, and reliable, allowing you to concentrate on evaluating the power of the data warehouse or on quickly getting insight from your data. DPS is hosted, and we start by logging in with our Azure account. It supports both organizational accounts and Microsoft accounts. Here we see some previously completed imports. We'll click New Import to begin another. First off, we need to download and install the gateway. The gateway runs locally to communicate with your on-prem SQL Server. It runs with the credentials of the logged in user and can be installed on any machine that can see the source database. Once the gateway is installed, it communicates back to the web application, which notices the connection and allows us to move on. Next, we identify the instance and the database that we want to import. We choose a storage account for the blob storage, and behind the scenes we'll create a blob container for this particular import. Lastly, we choose the data warehouse that we want to bring the data into, and provide the SQL credentials for the associated SQL Server. The credentials are encrypted and stored just for the duration of the import. Because I've previously imported to this data warehouse, I'm warned that I'm about to overwrite that import. I click that it's OK to continue, and a summary screen confirms my source database, storage account, and target warehouse. From this point on, the import is entirely automated. We begin by extracting the schema from the original database and uploading it to blob storage. We'll parse the schema and recreate it in the data warehouse, adjusting for differences such as substituting incompatible types and materialising computed columns. We then start extracting the data, a few tables at a time, in a stream that compresses the data and uploads it as we go. Sending the data via blob storage allows us to make use of Polybase, the fastest way to load data into Azure SQL Data Warehouse. Some data fixes are made at the same time, such as ensuring that field and new line delimiters are compatible with Polybase. We'll also work around limitations like the 32K row limit, splitting and reforming the data in the data warehouse. The import is taking place in the background, so at this point we could begin another import or close the web UI altogether and come back when it's finished. Instead, we'll just skip forward a few minutes to when the data import is nearly complete. And we're done. With the data safely imported, you're now free to try out some queries in SSMS or Visual Studio, or to jump into Power BI and explore the data. This feature in DPS is free to use. You can try it yourself at dataplatformstudio.com and find out just how easy it is to get started with Azure SQL Data Warehouse.